Hello, welcome to my channel. You are listening to and watching a nasty nail tech here on YouTube. I thank you for tuning in and supporting and watching. If you have not already subscribed, please do so. I appreciate the love. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please comment below. If you want to know the links to anything that I'm using, um, or where I purchased, please let me know below. Um, so today is another quick, simple nail art for Valentine's Day. I've already gotten started and base coated all of my stiletto nails. And I have applied the Beatles 872 Gel Polish. These came, there's three more, the, the three that I may use today. They came in a set of six and it's just like the purple collection or something like that um yeah so and I got them off of Amazon what we're gonna do first is I have some pretty foil I think this is Gucci I think those are G's um and it has hearts and it has purple it matches the lavender the lilac color that I have here so we're going to foil these two nails and we're going to start with that first I'll be using my McCart nail art foil which is one of my faves and let's get started so I'm just going to and I want to add this on the entire nail yeah we're adding this to the entire nail. I just realized I put this up a base coat. I don't know if that matters or not. But when I put the base coat on, I thought I was going to polish all of these nails. So, you know. Oh, you know what? I should do an ombre. I'm going to do the entire nail just in case I decide not to do it all the way. You guys know me. So before I started the video, I was looking for my um, nail charms. I think I, I thought I had some Cupid nail charms. And I thought I had the little bow and arrow for the heart or something, but I don't know. I didn't find it. So I, do, I did take out some hearts different variations of hearts that I would like to use. Gosh, do I want to do this as a ombre? Let's try it. So I need one that's a little darker than the one that I've already used. So there's this one, which really matches that foil. I want to cover the way I want to. If I do two coats, it will. This one's a little more of a gray gosh which one should I do hmm I'll do this one so since we are doing ombre we're it's sunny because I took out this purple glitter but now I'm changing it always changing up the plan okay so that was 30 seconds and I think 30 seconds should be good enough I haven't foiled in so long but I think that should be good so I'm going to take it about three quarters of the way of the nail and we're going to take the little silicone like spongy thing whatever this is made out of and we're going to press it down on the nail and in a tip Now this is a little difficult or a little awkward because these nails are so long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them off the stand for a second and just hold it. These are like extra long stiletto nails that I have to I believe I got these off of Amazon. I 
one corners on there, but the rest of it is like nah. So I have to stick my finger underneath here. I'm trying, y'all. Okay, it's kind of on there. We're going to make that work because of time being on the video. Now I got this putty all over me. Still cute. Remember, nail art is what you make it. What you consider art. Let's try this one and I cure this one a lot longer and let's see if that gives us a better result. It seems the simplest when it comes to nail art. Stamping. Finally got my cat eye polish to work. And I've watched people do it all the time and it just looks so simple. Purple is so pretty. 
So all I'm doing on the side here is just adding the red colors to my palette. And I'm gonna find one of my striping brushes. These are my favorite striping brushes. I got them from that lady Corona. Um, she is a nail tech on YouTube and she does some beautiful acrylic nails. She has a shop um, and she sells nail products as well. I have another one, I just can't find it. Okay, so between these two, I'm going with this one. Take that 870 and I'm going to attempt to do it on the way. Ombre, so we're blending this in. What's great about using these nail stands is you can polish up towards the cuticle because there's no cuticle. So it's kind of like a cheap coat. Coverage. I may need to do that twice. labeled and I still can't find flat petal bleak oval this is striper it's a universal here's my ombre jeez alright so we just got to mix it yeah we're gonna do two coats I forget and I get totally out of frame. It's like, oh yeah, I'm filming.
this is what I was rummaging through. All these brushes. The glass container. Sorry about the noise, guys. We're gonna add a second coat. And while we do that, I'm gonna put a little alcohol in my dappin dish. Because I don't want to need to clean this brush off. That second one go down a lot further, so I need to try to match that. Mm. It is a long nail. I can go down a little further. Okay, I'm blend again. I'm just kind of taking it to the side to thin it out and totally cover up my design. And you guys, if you look in the description box below, I do have a promo code for my cart. And I do believe it's 15% off your total purchase. I'm happy about that to be an ambassador, my first ambassadorship. That's pretty cool. I'm trying to step my game up, y'all. Trying to blend it more. So it doesn't look like it just stopped. that my bristles don't get stuck in one spot. And I was going to use this brush, but I saw another one that I thought was thicker than I might want to use. Yeah, see that one? The bristles did that.
actually have a stand it looks like this which I love but I don't have five of them to do five nails at one time so now I'm going to take some art gel polish there's still some striker brushes I'm thinking about and I just can't remember what I did with them and we're just gonna do some eyes This is me doing most of my polishing off camera. We're just gonna take the glitter and we're gonna cover this nail with glitter. This portion of the nail, I should say. So fill that in. And we're gonna cover up that first stripe. <laughs> There's still some striper brushes that I have. we go. Always be open to plan B. Guys, gotta be open to plan B. There's that one. We're gonna do the same thing over here. This is 
ships not that out. squiggly lines but this brush wasn't cooperating but it's all good because we have a plan B this is so pretty you guys know that blue real blue and purple are my favorite colors and you know I love glitter It. So I'm going to cure those. 30 seconds. We are going to top coat these. I'm just using my Poochie. This is one of my favorite top coats. You can find her on Instagram. Poochie's Nails. That's where I found her. And long hair pretty nails and this was like her go-to favorite top coat i said you know what she's the bomb nail enthusiast and if she like it i love it and i trust her opinion In my mind, I'm like, ah, oh, it's gonna be such a quick little video because I had already put all the base colors on and a base coat. Is the top coat. And I can get on with my Wednesday night and drinking my wine and watching my 600 pound life. Eating the steak we're making for dinner. Okay, so we are going to take her here and I'm into bending. 
Oh, look at one heart. That looks a lot bigger than I thought it would. Over here. Mm -hmm. Take a crystal heart and add inside of that one. Isn't that cute? Okay, wait, that's not cute. How cute is that? So slightly turn it. Normally you want to take the little tool if you have one and bend them so they curl around the nail, but it's not a real nail. It's okay. You get an idea of what it's supposed to look like. And three times is a charm. This one is for some reason already bent. Cute, guys, cute. Now we're gonna take that top coat. Before we cure, we're gonna top coat. Cause that glue has to be cured under the lamp. Let's polish around that heart really good to Make sure we're covering up the glue. These are so cute. I'm proud of me. I'm finally learning how to do something. I told y'all in my last video, nail art is not my strong suit. But when I was working as a nail tech, I did natural nails only, manicures and pedicures in a spa. The most art we did was a French. Bling, there was no acrylic. Every blue moon, somebody would come in with acrylic on their nails for a feel or something. And even then, there wasn't even um, foil and that stuff. It's been about 10 years ago, I think. 12 years, how many years? Oh, pretty. Okay, so we're gonna slide this in to cure for 60 seconds. Did not mean for this video to be that long. Let me put the drill gel away. Where's the top of this? That is pretty. Look, I like 
get my bag full of newbie, full of beginner. Come on, try. Yes. Come on, try. I love that top coat. They got a little bling on there. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Um, send me a link below if you have some of your favorite um, Valentine's Day nail art, whether it's yours or another nail text, so I can take a look. But thank you. I appreciate it. God bless.